XRP is no longer your typical cryptocurrency. Ripple's XRP and its products are currently being utilized in payment settlement, asset exchange, and remittance systems that function more like SWIFT, a service where international money and security transfers used by a network of banks and financial intermediaries. Many people were unaware of XRP until the legal battle between Ripple and the SEC became known as the crypto trial of the century. There will come a time when people will be sorry that they were uninformed of such a small dot that can do so much. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to XRP Hut, your one-stop shop for all things XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will discuss the formal US patent being issued, as well as what the patent might signify for XRP, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and enable post notifications by clicking the bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Ripple has patented a network computing method for on-demand liquidity, its XRP-powered cross-border payment offering, ODL. Ripple Labs applied for a patent for on-demand liquidity, ODL, on December 19, 2019, and it was granted on January 26, 2021. According to documentation posted on the USPO website, the invention was officially awarded on January 26 by the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO. The Patent Office issued the patent number 10,902,416 for a network computer system enabling on-demand liquidity for cross-medium transaction services. Warren Paul Anderson, Daddy R. Manson, Jesse Bronner, Benner Christensen, Connor McNamara, Yana Novikova, and David Oppler were credited with the invention. The following is the abstract of the U.S. patent application for ODL. A computing system can permit cross-medium transactions through the use of a digital currency. The computing system can provide a guaranteed exchange rate as well as monitor customer pools or slippage balances in digital wallets to alter digital currency transfer amounts to match the guaranteed exchange rate. Let's speak about what all of this entails. Bank of America has been experimenting with blockchain technology for quite some time. In fact, the bank holds more blockchain-related patents than any other financial firm in the United States. However, no blockchain technology pilot tests have been conducted within Bank of America's core business. This could change soon with Ripple if the patent mentioned above is correct and goes into effect. A Ripple trial on Bank of America would be the most important endorsement of the underlying technology of the crypto project. Whereas prior Bank of America blockchain patents focused on cash management, this recently revealed one defines a new settlement layer. This new layer would be in charge of expediting international currency transactions, which is something Ripple excels at. A hypothetical pilot agreement between Bank of America and Ripple would surely bring in additional financial participants. Ripple would become the cryptocurrency project with the greatest use cases in the whole industry. If Bank of America formally confirms its collaboration with Ripple, it will be the crypto project's most significant collaboration to date. It would pave the way for more financial institutions to migrate to Ripple's protocol. Now, let's go into the specifics of the ODL patent. On-demand liquidity, ODL is a Ripple invention that enables participating banks or financial service providers to transfer funds inexpensively and instantly between jurisdictions utilizing the XRP token. The fundamental concept of ODL mentioned in Ripple Labs patent is unsurprising. The entire procedure is completed in seconds or fractions of a second. ODL assures a stable exchange rate by checking a variety of exchanges for rates before completing the transaction taking current or projected volatility into consideration. The ODL is a tool created on top of the open source X current messaging system, which is part of the RippleNet package. RippleNet has around 400 banks as of February 2021. However, the ODL patent presently awarded to Ripple Labs Inc. states that the system can transmit anything of value other than currencies. The XRPL allows for real-time gross settlement of other digital currencies, stocks, bonds, securities, and other assets. As a result, the service may be useful not only for banks, but also for huge corporations, government agencies, non-governmental organizations, UNGOs, and businesses wishing to move value inexpensively and instantly over Ripple's network. Minor variations in the fixed exchange rate can be compensated for using clients' digital currency pools kept on each of the participating exchanges. For large orders, the system can divide them into smaller chunks and send each one to a different exchange for conversion to ODL before sending all of them to the final destination for conversion to the target currency. Transactions can either be automated or manual. 
with a defined 10-minute window for a user to accept the exchange rate before the transaction expires and a fresh quote is generated. Despite the fact that the workings of on-demand liquidity, ODL, are well known, the text contains some surprises. The patent for the XRP-based payment solution, for example, notes that the system is not restricted to financial institutions or currencies, but may rather be applied for any exchange of value, e.g., commodities, other digital currencies and assets, bonds, stocks, and securities. Furthermore, the document states that ODL can be utilized not only by banks and financial institutions, but also by enterprises and government bodies, implying that it could be used as a digital central bank currency. CBDC, in some implementations, the originating and destination institutions can also be clients of the transaction service, as can cross-medium or cross-border transaction entities such as huge financial institutions, institutions, international business companies, governmental bodies, non-governmental organizations, and other similar entities. According to the patent, ODL also works on desktop computers, mobile devices or smartphones, personal digital assistants, laptops, tablet devices, virtual reality, VR and augmented reality, AR devices, portable computing devices, television sets, IP television, and so on. Furthermore, an ODL integrated device might be used with custom hardware, in vehicle devices, or onboard computers. According to Ripple's patent, ODL assists banks in avoiding keeping money tied up in the correspondent banking approach of processing remittances. According to current estimates, on the order of 10 trillion US dollars in value is employed as a parked float in Nostro or other correspondent accounts around the world. Furthermore, any pair of institutions they cannot agree on such exchanges must use other banks that can, increasing transaction fees and complexity. With the advent of digital currencies and decentralized ledgers, the use of Nostro accounts may be completely eliminated, releasing the stored money therein to be deployed as outlined above by banking institutions. The present invention provides a computing system for implementing a cross-medium transaction service by leveraging the usage of a digital currency and ledger to replace the need for clearing houses and Nostro slash Vostro accounts. This cross-medium transaction system provides on-demand liquidity for cross-medium exchanges, allowing fund settlements to take place at any time within seconds or fractions of a second. As compared to several days in present implementations, the utility of XRP is a fundamental question in the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC case against Ripple, which accuses the company of marketing the digital asset illegally as an unregistered securities. According to Ripple Net General Manager Ashish Perla, ODL will enable about 3 million transactions and handle $2.4 billion in notional volume in 2020. Perla adds that after the SEC filed a lawsuit against the San Francisco business in late December, the product was expanded to 18 other nations and was a part of 15 new deals. It's still unclear how the patent will be expressly implemented, although there's a good chance it'll rely on Ripple. The bank will be able to do the following thanks to the adoption of Ripple's technology. As explained by Dylan, carry out real-time settlements for an exchange trading remove the requirement for accounts at partner institutions for settlements. Options for pre-funding the mechanism depicted in the graphic appears to show cross-border payment processing between different currencies. The currencies would be traded in part using Ripple's protocol, with Bank of America acting as a validator node. That's all we've got for you today. Fellas, what do you think of Ripple? In addition, when do you consider the actual US pen granted? Participate and let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on future films, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we release a video on the newest XRP and cryptocurrency news. You can watch our previous movies about XRP or other cryptocurrencies till the next video is released. Thank you for viewing, and we will see you in the future video.